Welcome to Mr. V Teaching Math. In this session, we're continuing to work on algebra. In this session, we're going to be looking at solving algebra equations using the inverse operations method when there are at least two operations to deal with. Begin by remembering the goal to get the variable by itself. My goal is to have x all by itself at the end. First, I attempt to simplify the question using bed mass. Normally, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, yes, right there, 5 times x. Cannot do it because I don't know x. Time to get start getting rid of things. Since I'm getting rid of things, which is backwards, I'm going to be doing bed mass backwards. So the first thing I'm going to get rid of is subtraction and addition. To get rid of adding, I will now do the opposite. And whatever I did one side, I will do to the other. Adding 2 and minus 2 will cancel each other out, leaving me with 5x. 22 minus 2 leaves me with 20. This question is not yet done. I have to keep going. I have another thing to get rid of. Again, I should use bed mass backwards. However, there's only one thing, so my choice is pretty easy. The opposite of multiplying times 5 because the lazy mathematician left out the multiplication symbol, is dividing by 5. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. Multiply by 5 and dividing by 5 will cancel each other out. x will equal 4, I think. Now it's time to test the question. Left side, right side. The original left side. The original right side. I think that x is 4. So I'll find out if I'm right. No variables. It's an ordinary bed mass question. Multiplication first. 5 times 4 is 20. I probably did the question right. Here are some further examples. Once again, attempt to simplify using ordinary bed mass. Brackets, exponents, division, multiplication. I can't, three times y, I can't do it. Now I'm going to get start getting rid of things, and I get rid of things by doing bed mass backwards. Addition and subtraction will be gotten rid of first. The opposite of subtracting 4 is adding 4. And whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. These will cancel. 3y will equal 18. Once again, I check my work, see if I did it right. Original question, 3y minus 4 and 14. I think that y is 6. Let's see if I get it right. 3 times 6, that's 18. 18 minus 4 is 14 probably did that question correctly. Another example. <clears throat> At first glance, someone's going to think, oh my, this question is so much different. It's, it, it's not the same at all. It's much harder than this. But it isn't. You see, this is adding. When we're adding, it doesn't matter what order we do things in. If you would like, if it helps you to do the question, this is the same question. Because adding, it doesn't matter. Uh, in other questions, it will, and we're going to do some examples of that. But because it's adding, I can move these two terms. This is a term, and that's a term. I can move, th move these two terms around, and it doesn't change anything. So this question would then proceed like this. Attempt to simplify using ordinary bed mass. Brackets, exponents, division, multiplication. 5 times x, I can't multiply. 
I'm getting rid of things. And when I'm getting rid of things, I do it in bed mass backwards. So I'm getting rid of the adding. I get rid of it by doing the opposite. Whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. Now I have to get rid of this. Those will cancel. X. It's 10.2. Question doesn't tell you anything about rounding, so don't round. And just in case I really made mistakes, I'm going back to the original, very first question that I made no changes to. I think that x is 10.2, so I will substitute and take my answer and replace the x with it. 5 times 10.2, 51. It works. Next question. Once again, I begin the question by attempting to simplify. Brackets, exponents, division and multiplication. I have to go there. There is something that could be done here that would make this question simpler. But we haven't learned that yet. Later on, we will learn a trick that will be able to simplify this. For now, we're going to leave it alone. Next step. Get rid of things in bed mass backwards. So I'm getting rid of subtraction and addition first. I have two additions. Which one do I do? Well, in bed mass I do left to right. But since bed mass is backwards, I'll get rid of that one. The opposite of that is subtracting two. I'm not done. Bad mass again. Backwards. I'll be getting rid of this one. The opposite of adding 9 is subtracting 9. Still not done. Got to keep going. Whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. And then we'll check my work. My original question. Substitute x. I believe that x is 15. Now I'm doing bed mass normally. 2 times 15 is 30. This gives me 15. Then I get, and that looks like I did it right.